Hey everyone, so that episode of Black Clover, <laughs> that right there is going to go down in history. Best one yet. And I love it because when I did last week's review, I was talking about how the animation was bad, that it was getting so close to the end of season one that they had to go out with the band. They got to prove themselves that of what Black Clover is as an anime and that how season one is going to end. And they proved it right there. This episode, that is what I want from Black Clover. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, this is what the anime is and what's going to go down in the future. What's up, though, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Flame. Welcome, everyone, to Black Clover episode 46's Review Awakening. This episode, man, oh, <laughs> I had goosebumps the whole way through. Animation was clean. They took a lot of stuff from the manga, which by the way, there is a lot of stuff to look at in this episode. Number one, it's between Kyoto and Kohono's characters, Noelle's development, and Vito's development, and holy crap, man. Okay, first I'll start off with Kyoto and Kohono's development. Going into this arc, we all know that we're going to get introduced into new characters. That's always been kind of a thing for anime or even an arc here for Black Clover that every single time an arc will happen, we will get introduced into two or like just more characters in the show, which of course is Kohono and Kyoto. So we learn a lot kind of from their backstory. We even see their magic in this episode as well. And let me tell you, if they combine their magic together, they are so they're, they're just people that you got to be afraid of because looking at them they have the same dream we know about their characters that if they win this so-called tournament their dream is of course to go up to the surface and become idols you know we have Kohono which is a terrific singer we have Kyoto who is really good at dancing they could use those movements to go up to the surface and become idols and to get rich and you know to finally succeed for their dream that's always been what they are looking for ever since that they were born so we even get a flashback in this episode of them training every single day it's kind of like looking at Asta trying to become the wizard king before Black Clover you know started you know kind of his journey and now it's Kyoto and Kohonos which of course you know them trying to please the sea god which when you look at the sea god in this it's like is that Poseidon I don't know it's kind of like a little statue them kind of showing everyone in the underwater temple of what they are capable of and that dreams can come true if you work really hard and just Kyoto with combined with Kohono's magic going up against Vito, even though it didn't do so good, you know, in this episode, we just saw that Vito is an absolute tank, which of course, you know, he is part of the third eye, which is one of the three strongest mage of the eye of the midnight sun. But it's it's so crazy, and I love about it because of course we're getting more development from them. It's not even just the black bulls getting development, it's also them as well. That's just why this is one of my favorite arcs, or is my favorite arc in Black Clover that I've seen in the anime or read in the manga. So yeah, it was pretty cool. Their moves, you know, his dancing, trying to go back and forth with Vito because we've seen that Vito, he's a strong individual. Like he's taken out, you know, their father who's supposed to be the strongest mage in the underwater temple. We've seen him, you know, take out Asta. We've seen him take out Luck and Magna. And this is just one individual going up against a whole bunch of, you know, mages. And they are strong as well. You know, they're not just people, like they're not capable of being a match knight captain, like not that strong like Yami. But still, it's like, wow, you take out like four people like this, that's incredible for just one person to handle, and he still has a whole bunch of magic, so. It continues on. I just want to say, even with this episode as well, I think this is the goriest episode we have seen in Black Clover yet. Like, they put a lot of detail of how strong Vito is and how effed up this could be of when, you know, even Kyoto and Kohono's magic even combined is not even working against Vito in this episode. You know, he takes out Kyoto's leg, he punches, uh, you know, Kohono in the throat. You know, two key aspects of what their magic is. Of course, you know, Kyoto with his dance magic, he needs his legs. You know, Kohono, you know, she needs her throat so she can sing. You know, the, just the key elements he went for and they go down with the snap of a finger. Like, Vito, he's not even hiding his true power yet. This is just him being an individual. Like, that was him going up against Yami and the cave arc. You know, the gosh segment that happened, I think, 10 episodes back or something like that now, which is absolutely crazy. And after when that's all done, we see Noelle's development. 
this is the thing that I have been looking for and manga readers have been looking forward to her as well because you know this is uh, I guess Noelle's last development this is her last development here in the underwater temple which she's focused a lot on right here you know her character she couldn't control her magic at the start and it was kind of development like us to hear her there that she would become a better mage you know First things first, she creates defense magic. You know, that's a little bit of magic she can control right now, but her weakest flaw out of all is controlling, you know, attack magic. And she shows that key element today. This is the thing I've been waiting for in the manga, is the sea dragon's roar. The animation was clean. Her going up against Vito, showing that she could actually prove herself as a real mage and for her to protect her friends because the old Noel that we would know, even though she sees a whole bunch of her friends, you know, on the deathbed, you know, she doesn't want to run away. She wants to focus, she wants to fight Vito to prove herself who she is and that she can protect her friends all around. And oh my god, it was perfect. It was beautiful. I loved it. And even Vito was even calling her an insect. And you know, at the start of Black Clover, we see Noel trying to, you know, say, you know, even calling Austin an insect because he wasn't worthy. But now it's kind of a reverse right there. But Vito, you're wrong. Don't judge someone for how they look because that was your back plot. We even see Vito losing an arm. You know, the gore is kind of real throughout this. And I, I just love it. You know, Noelle finally getting that big character development she has. I, I think it was just spectacular all around. We even see Oz's character, of course, in this anime, which, you know, even after everything, even after Noelle's magic, you know, Vito still has this incredible power. You know, he had to go through his last straw. This is his last straw playing card that he has to show his biggest magic and even this in animation which is clean and I loved it is unlocking the third eye his mystical beast magic oh man I I'll tell you one thing if Asta wasn't there you know just covering Noel with his demon dweller sword Noel would have disappeared in the ashes so yeah, now we even get more of what Vito's power is. And this is not even just him. Like, he wasn't even using this power going up against, you know, Kohono, Kyoto, Luck, Magda, and uh, Kiono and Kyoto's father. So, yeah, here we go. This is more into it. And I, I love that so much. Like, I even said in my last review that if Black Clover needs to, they need to step up their game. They have to step up their game because you know we're reaching the finale of season one, and you had some you know troubles here or there. Which, by the way, the underwater temple magic I think is great so far. They're doing a wonderful job, but but just with last week's episode, it was just a little bit iffy. But they proved everyone wrong, and I feel like this is like a segment with the, the Boruto anime, for example, when they finally showed the Sasuke and Naruto versus the Momoshinki, and everyone's like, "Oh my God, Boruto's good!" So I guess Black Clover now has their shine, and. This is definitely a top three episode. I have to go back in Black Clover and probably watch to actually kind of have my analysis of what my favorite episode is. But this is definitely in the top three for me. And I feel like people could definitely agree with this that this probably was the best episode of Black Clover that we had. You know, the fight scenes were awesome. The animation was perfect. You had character development all around. This is just an anime episode that will go down in Black Clover history, I feel like. And that's not even more. There's still so much that we're gonna see and Black Clover that I cannot wait to get animated. That's I'm hoping they just come up with season two. Before I go and get my review on this, we also have another special thing that we saw in this episode here as well. When Vio was finally going to his ultimate power, we seen the elves. We seen a little bit of flashback from the elves. Manga readers, you know how important this is for the future of Black Clover. Anime only, it's an, I'll just tell you one thing, it's an easter egg that's in the future of Black Clover that you are eventually going to see. That's all I want to talk about right now. You know, we only seen it for a little bit of that flashback that Vio tried to have, but I'll just tell you one thing that I just, I, I can't wait. Black Clover, you have done it. I, I can't wait to watch more. There's still so much that you can put into for the rest of this season, and they are going out with a bang. And with this episode here, ladies and gentlemen, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. It's a must watch. It's gonna be an episode I'm gonna keep watching through until next Tuesday, and I cannot wait. But thank you guys for all your support. Leave a like if you haven't. Comment down below what you thought of this episode, and subscribe to the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next week. Much love, and have a wonderful day.